Hello, I'm Loudon Stearns, a professor at Berkeley College of Music and one of the course authors. My name is Aaron Vera. I'm associate professor here at Berkeley and the other course author for this nonlinear course. This course is for people who want to become untethered. Whether you've plateaued and you're creatively blocked, whether you're looking for new techniques and tools in order to try different things, it's really for the person that wants to let go and try all sorts of new techniques, ideas, and workflows. The artistic process itself doesn't follow a straight line. It jumps around between mixing and producing and songwriting and the nonlinear capabilities of Ableton Live allow the software to jump around with you. And in this course, we'll be looking at many ways to leverage those nonlinear or not straight line aspects of the program. We don't have to think of a song as starting from bar one and going to bar 50. It can jump around. This course would be perfect for people who want to collaborate more in any aspect, whether that's with the laptop itself, with another musician, with yourself, with another producer remotely. There's a strong sense of collaboration throughout the course and you'll walk away with a lot of tools in that respect. One of the most amazing things about working in live is that you never have to press stop. That can be a really difficult concept for people to accept at first and, and we want to live in that area where things are happening in the moment and we're engaging with the software in real time. So we'll be diving into that in this course and, and having a lot of fun. It seems that there's always an image or a movie to go along with our music now. And one of the great things about Ableton Live is it gives many tools for us to connect our music to movies, to imagery, and we'll be looking at that in this course. This is a tool that is only limited by your imagination and your knowledge base. Ableton is a tool that really, really can respond to the reality of creativity. It's nonlinear, it jumps around, and in this course, that's what we're exploring.